Hi there everyone, Luke here at our fantastic swing studio facility here at Farnham Golf Club. Today I'm going to do a little bit of a review on the new G710 iron that's come from Ping that came into us this week. Uh, and I'm going to do a little test with it to compare it to my own, my own club, uh, my own equivalent club, to see if uh, it does what Ping say it should do in terms of its, its, the way it plays. Uh, the first thing I'm going to say though, just as, re as a review, this club is fantastic looking. I'm just going to get you a bit of a close up here. Okay, it's a really sleek, stealthy black finish. Okay, I think that's going to appeal to, to a range of golfers. Um, I think it's going to help with the looks behind the ball, which we'll come to in a second. But no, really good looking club for what is essentially a, a, a game improver or, a, um, or, a, or an easy to hit set of clubs. So what Ping say is that they've moved weight in certain areas to be able to give you a more forgiving face, which means it's got a higher MOI, which essentially means the face is going to be more stable on off-centre hits. Uh, and they do that by putting weights in, in uh, the toe and the heel, just stabilizes the head as you hit it. So I'm going to hit a few, um, and look down on, looking down on that ball, it is really a nice looking club. For um, It's a big club, you know, it's, it's got a lot of face to hit, which I think is comforting. It doesn't look as low lofted as I know it is. This has actually got 29 and a half degrees of loft, uh, and I'm actually going to compare it to my six iron, which um, has 30.5 degrees of loft. So it's a strong seven iron loft. What Ping say it does, though, is it launches high because of its design, which counteracts the fact that it's low loft. So you can get a high launch. And what I suspect is going to be a relatively low spinning club as well. But we'll see how the data comes through. But it frames up the ball really nicely. I feel like I can aim this club very well. I'm just going to hit a couple of shots and just give me my feedback on how it feels and how it sounds. Okay, yeah felt good. It's actually, it's a, a lot less tinny than some of the other clubs that are in this sort of bracket. Um, hollow head design and all those sort of things tend to, to really make the, the, the sound a little bit more high pitched. It's not as soft as my, my bladed, uh, my eye blade club um, from Ping uh, in feel and sound, but it's, 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 it's still certainly a, a, a nice sound. It feels very solid off the face, that's for sure. Yeah, struck that one really well. Happy with the flight. I can tell it's going higher than my normal um, sort of equivalent loft club. Just can see it in the studio there. We'll, we'll see the numbers and how that uh, plays out uh, as we go through this. Just going to hit one more. Really like it though. As always, Ping make really functional, really good looking uh, and clubs that, that really work as well. Yeah, struck that one very nicely again. Just turning a bit left. This is going to go a long way, I imagine, but, but really... Uh, yeah, impressed, impressed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hit some shots with my own six iron. Then we're going to look at the data and compare it and uh, see if Ping's uh, ideas about what their two ends of the spectrum clubs do actually ring true. Right, so the numbers are in uh, and it makes for some pretty interesting data actually uh, and, and Ping have got it right on the money with what their two different clubs do. Bear in mind that it was my 6 iron compared to the G710 7 iron. G710 7 iron is 29.5 degrees of loft and my 6 iron is 30.5 degrees of loft. So they're within one degree in loft, although they say 7 and 6 on the bottom, you have to remember that it's really the loft on the bottom that actually counts. So the G710 is in the red. Uh, which is the top line and uh, up on the, on, the, on the graph here and the uh, blue is this, my own six iron. So straight away we're seeing that we're getting an increase in ball speed off the face of the, uh, the hollow head design of the G710 um, and the power design of this club. So, so I'm getting a little bit more speed initially off the face which is basically what I'd expect. Very interesting, we've just said the loft is actually lower in the G710 but the launch is a fraction higher. Okay, so we're looking at 0.7 degrees higher with a lower lofted club. So it's definitely a high launch off the face sort of idea with this club. But this is where we see the difference in the two designs. We see a lot less spin for three well hit shots with both clubs. The, uh, the G710 club is spinning at 4.7, 4,700 RPM. And my six iron is spinning at 5,300 RPM. So we're looking at about 600 RPM. It's only three shots each, but it, I hit them all pretty well. So they're going to be pretty, um, pretty reasonable, uh, accurate data there. So, so they're doing, this club is doing exactly what Ping says it does. It's launching high and it's spinning low. And essentially that means it's going to go a long way. So we see an actual increase of eight yards difference in total difference. So 195 carry for the G710 7-iron and 187 carry for my own 6-iron, which is much more, well, it's exactly where I expect it to be for my 6-iron for my at the moment. So my thoughts are, this club 
is, does exactly what it says on the tin. Now, the only thing I will say is that it's really, really important if you're looking for more distance that you go down the route of a custom fit, which we can use very well in this studio here. Because once you start getting down to uh, six irons and five irons at slower swing speeds, bear in mind I'm swinging these clubs at probably somewhere in the, in the high 90 miles an hour. If you're at slower swing speeds, then the loft is going to start being difficult to manage once you get down into those middle to long irons. So I'm not saying this product isn't for everyone. You just need to make sure if you are going for more distance that you match in at the right point in your set the, the hybrid perhaps uh, that's going to give you a little bit more help to get that ball up once you get down to those lower lofts. It's a really good club to look at. It's a really good club to hit. It goes a long way. And I think when custom fitted properly could be a, a really good tool to add to your, to your bag.